Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and you might notice that we're deconstructing all the ship hull that we just built, um, and that is because uh, when we finish Ultra Mech Tech with Save Our Ship, I believe we're getting some uh, mechanoid walls, and they're kind of like this mechanoid color, as well as the mechanoid ship hull. Um, I don't think they're any more expensive. They don't have higher stats or anything. It's not the architect ship stuff, but I feel like this is a little bit more like on brand for the playthrough. So we'll go ahead and wait until we have that finished, uh, before we start, uh, putting down ship hull. And we might swap out all of our other ship hull as well. I'm thinking we can probably get a head start on that by maybe removing floors, um, yeah, I guess. I think there'll be, like, a lot of ship stuff that's not operational with the floors removed. Uh, but we can go ahead and get that done. We do have two constructoids now. And you might have noticed we have a couple new droids up here. We have these mecha droids. They are from the uh, mecha, mecha droids mod. Um, and so uh, same mod author as the Persona sub-Persona course. I think... This guy is meant to, so this is an alpha, uh, this is a delta, I think, and this is a gamma. Um, they're pretty much capable of anything. They're capable of learning, but they also spawn with stats and apparently names <laughs> um, and backstories. So if we take a look at translucent here, um, translucent is a faulty alpha. Mechadroids are not born, they are made. Subtle imperfe subtle imperfections result in various traits in their personality, but their initial skills tend to be rather specific. This alpha came out uh, slightly bit faulty, so their skills have been skewed here and there. Um, so yeah, just a few like starting skills, not too great. This is a faulty delta, um, so similar story here. Uh, I'm not too worried about the Delta because I think instead of instead of having like our miners, our tunnelers come over to like body block the door, it would be nice to have someone that has a uh, designated position that we can set um, without having to wait for the our mechanator to get over there for Priya to get over there basically. Um, and so we can just set this guy to like train all day, melee, right? And learn to body block. Um, that being said, I do want to build more just to see if we can get better versions. Um, this gamma is a manufactured gamma. They came with plus three and many things, or they should have. Um, but I want to see if there are like actual backstories that are like, better actually we can probably just like take a look so if we like type in gamma perfect gamma so faulty manufactured and perfect what is perfect perfect gets them a bunch of extra skills and then if we do the same thing for delta uh, perfect delta has increased melee and shooting so um i think we can probably just not waste our time on these guys and go ahead and deconstruct them. So let's take a look at the alpha. Perfect alpha, just like threes across the board. Um, so we do have an ability to shut down and disassemble. And I think we're going to do all of that. We'll keep them unless they're perfect. And I'm really interested in the gammas because they start out with a mech link. Uh, by default, mechanators usually start with um, six bandwidth. This gamma only has four five and that's because we have the mod that uh adjusts bandwidth capacity based on psychic sensitivity they are less psychic we can fix some of that with gear and stuff but i think first order of business is just like let's try and get some perf perfect gammas and perfect deltas i'm not sure what we do with any alphas so let me know if you guys have any thoughts about alphas um the gammas we might just have like stick them on research and maybe on shooting training because they would potentially be like the commander for the mechs that they're leading right and um then we could swap these sub personas out to to commando sub personas and just beef up our stock of kind of like personal bodyguards for priya um let's get a 
furniture. Let's get some sleeping spots down. I assume that that's where they would like go be disassembled. Um, actually, let's just stick them right here. Slot them as medical. See if we draft and undraft them. Can you rest until healed? Yeah. So we'll just get them disassembled. We'll get this stuff disassembled and then we'll continue on with our research and get back on track. Um, but yeah, I think the plan today is to try and get some perfect deltas and gammas going, and we will also finish up, like, sucking the brains out of some of these folks. You might notice that Erwin is missing. Uh, we have successfully brain scanned him, and we will continue to, like, rip scan the rest of these folks. Okay. So Priya is doing the deconstructing. I'm curious, do you drop materials? You drop some plasteel, some advanced components. Um, that's that's great. I wasn't expecting to get anything back, and I'm glad that I don't have like some random robot husk to deal with. Okay, we probably built two more um, previous to these two, but Keen Host is um, another faulty gamma, so we're going to shut him down. A guilty knight is a perfect gamma, so we're going to keep him. And so we have built another sub persona for crafting. So we have two of them basically on the fabrication benches constantly. Guilty knight, we are we're going to grab our research bot and we are going to give you the same jobs as it. And we might repurpose our research bot. Uh, I think that means you're going to probably like go do some scanning. Um, oh, you're relaxing socially. You have needs and things. Um, you have a mech link. You have five bandwidth. We can make you an outfit that will increase that bandwidth. And then we can figure out what kind of mechs that we want to have you assigned. Also, we need to give you a different name. Um, socially, I guess you'll be our moral guide because we don't have one of those yet. Um, so when it comes to like actual needs and social interactions, like the sub persona cores, uh, they're acquainted with people. Their needs are power. Guilty Knight has actual needs related to our ideology and just being like a pawn in general. So... Uh, welcome, I guess, Protocol Prime for now. Okay, we'll get you geared up. Uh, we're gonna probably not gear you as heavily as, like, uh, Priya. We do have a lot of options for, like, mech gear. Um, oh, actually, it's all built, right? Or it's all researched. Um... So we can, like, maybe make mech lord outfits, right? Mech commander outfits. Yeah. Um, but we also have all this ancient mech tech stuff. Um, ooh, we might make you the, like, just the ancient mech helmet and armor, because that's pretty cool. And it is, like, it'll be the same kind of, like, color scheme as, like, the mech hull for the ships. Um, what does this do? Two control groups... Uh, increases psychic sensitivity by 15% and space stuff. The helmet mech bandwidth plus 65. Okay, what do these other mech helmets do? Um, plus 40 uh, mech bandwidth 125 mech bandwidth plus 20 Okay, so, like, this is actually, like, one of the better ones. This has a bandwidth of plus 12. Okay, well, maybe the ancient mech stuff goes to Priya. And then I feel like thematically the Architect stuff looks really cool, but we're just not there. And so I kind of want to role play that we don't have, like, access to that. Um, this will be plus 20. That's going to be plus 65. Let's go ahead. The recon armor. Do we want to stick you in the recon armor? I think we just go with like traditional mech lord stuff for you for now. Um, just 
aesthetics, right? Uh, and we're going to have so many, so many robotic pawns and so many mechanoids between just the two of them. And I plan on making more of these gammas. So I'm not too worried about only giving this pawn like plus 20. Um, other stuff. So there's all this mech stuff. And then is there a new like control pack that we can make? I'm going to have to take a look at that. So um, once I figure out what control packs and stuff these guys should have, I'll get those queued up and then we'll take a look at these guys when they're geared up. Okay, we got Protocol Prime and an LTEX bodysuit. They have a bandwidth pack, so they're up to 15 bandwidth. I also want to give them a Silent Neuroformer. Um, so let's see how that goes. It did not go. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that they could, like, toss electric electricity and stuff. But I guess that is just not going to be the case. So... For you, you do not need to meditate. You can just do whatever you want, whenever you want. And yeah, I was hoping psychic powers might be another way to increase their bandwidth, but that's fine. We are working on ancient uh, mech helmets, ancient power armor, mech lord helms, all that other stuff. Uh, so they'll be geared up. In the meantime, we do have a little mech cluster out here. It has a sun blocker. It's not really going to impact us that much. I mean, we have our, like, little greenhouse that we were growing stuff in, but uh, none of that is, like, super critical at the moment. Uh, it's mostly going to be for making Nutramine um, for androids, but I'm not sure if we're going to make androids right now. Uh, we'll see. But we might just leave this out for any friendly raiders to trigger uh, so that they can thin themselves out. Um, other than that, we are working on rem original ship hull, uh, and we will be replacing it with mechanoid flooring. We are swimming in resources right now, but once we get to actual like ship building, uh, that'll change pretty quickly, I think. Okay, we have the option to take on two more mech clusters. Uh, recently attempted to steal. We'll get two mech clusters nearby. Uh, I'm kind of interested in it for just a bunch of vanimetric power cells. Um, extra free power from nowhere is nice. A skill trainer for intellectual. We could have protocol prime take that. And then the gene pack we can just sell. So let's see where these end up. Jump to location. Oh, we have to take care of you. Um... Uh, Selena, 20 days. Okay. Do we have food for you? We have, you can have a meal a day, basically. Um, schedule, let's go ahead and get you stuck behind the walls. Um, anyone else that we want behind the walls? I guess you, Protocol Prime, you can hang out behind the walls as well. Um... Well, I guess we could grow you some food, just like feed you some like strawberries or something. Berry? Can we? Yeah, strawberry. Um, power, we'll throw like a sun down, a sun lamp down just for now. And then uh, I don't know where these mech clusters will be, but they'll probably show up like the last few days that she's here. Oh, you're going to want a bed and things, too. You're not going to like being here, Selena. Um, let's just stick you in the bridge for now where Priya can keep an eye on you. Okay, we also have a mech hide rave coming in. Uh I'm not too worried about that. It looks like, what, three Scythers, three Lancers, a single Militor, a couple Pikemen, and a Centurion. Um, they're going to prepare for a little while. That gives us plenty of time to get up here, and I think our defenses are definitely enough. Okay, the Mechanoids are coming in. They are very spread out <laughs> and we are not so let's see what's going oh you've decided to like beat on that wall have you we can 
We can meet you where you're at. We can match some energy. Okay, Scythers have all <laughs> fallen to our trap wall. Um, let's go ahead and get you back in here, and then we'll get you guys back into your positions. It's so silly that they don't just kind of, like, escort the Centurion or the guys that do have, um, shields. I wish that's something that would get fixed at some point. Defoliatorship. Okay. Um, over here. Just like all kinds of mech threats. So this um, Artha Mech Hive is definitely not, not on Priya's good side. You guys... Ooh, Protocol Prime is having a mental break. Um... <laughs> He's just hanging out, uh, testing out his shield. I guess we'll get these guys out here. I think they can handle these guys, like, no problem. Okay. Okay, and then this is just a ton of Militors. I guess since everyone's rounded up already, we'll just like go ahead and head out that way. Let's speed things up. And let's see. Why don't you two, you guys actually, like they have SMGs, so it's not going to be like very good range. But. Oh, little Tunnler, you can go back to wherever you want to be. Uh, Pikeman, you guys hang out back here. And why don't you guys go ahead and start firing? Oh, we woke this guy up. Uh, Priya, you're not in a good spot if that's the case. Um, Flash Storm, I don't think it's going to be helpful. High velocity skip gate at a target. Severely hampers movement at the center. Okay, um, well, let's get you into some cover. Let's get you guys down here. They can handle the Militors. Uh, Militor 4 is down. It's not a problem. Priya, you can come up here and help a little more. Okay, we've lost a couple Militors here. Okay, why don't you guys move this way? Okay, well, why don't you just finish that guy off? Priya's taken a little bit of damage. Uh, Priya has gone on a mental... Br oh, she's freeing the base. And we've lost control of our mechanoids. Uh, okay, so this is something that we can fix. Uh, let's reactivate Rimhud. Uh, needs. Okay, Priya. This is something that we'll fix. Um, why don't you guys get up here and finish that off? And then it doesn't make sense to me that Priya needs to, like, free up memory space or have like a, a power need she is a manifestation of the Priya core so we're just going to remove those needs from her um, and it should be pretty easy to do because those needs are actually just genes right so we can just pop open dev mode and there's a little drop down here we'll delete memory processing and power and she will be all set okay you guys finish this off and let's go ahead and like uh, order. Well, we'll unforbid everything once this is down. OK, 
Okay. Okay, orders. We will unforbid all the things. You guys can go. I guess we will deconstruct the things as well. Grab all these, deconstruct that. And yeah, not too bad. We have two more mech clusters coming in. Priya also probably needs some repairs, uh, but nothing serious here. So I think she'll be fine. Okay, we have got a lot of mechanoid flooring down. We had to rebuild her throne, uh, so we'll get that taken care of. Um, we are moving a lot of the things that we were doing in the ship into this room. We've also created this room for mech gestation and subcore rip scanning, all that fun stuff. We are building some waste packed atomizers just so we don't have to store this. Like we could just like let it decay. It doesn't impact us, but I I don't really care to handle it. We can just have we could just have it disappear, right? So let's go ahead and move these guys down here and speed things up a little bit. We'll just like get this taken care of expeditiously. Okay, let's move in. And Militors taking some damage, but it's not too much of a concern. Actually, will you guys take that out? We will take these structures out and then we'll chase that last pikeman down. Any more raiders? No, no more raiders. Okay, you guys are free to go. One more to go. And I think our guests just got over a mental break. How much longer are you here? 14 more days. That's ridiculous. Ooh, we did get a legionnaire um, set up. And so what I want to do with them is I'm going to assign them to a control group that we currently aren't using. Five. And then we are going to have you uh, cancel. We're going to have you escort, escort and recharge. So Priya will now always have some kind of personal shield with her as well as her shield belt. Um, these guys look pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of dark, so hard to see. Uh, we'll get things unforbidden. We'll deconstruct all that stuff. Okay, and we have our last mechanoid cluster coming in related to the quest. Uh, you're here for 22 more hours. It looks like a pretty small one. Uh, Psychic Suppressor is not going to be great. Protocol Prime does have a weapon now. We also upgraded Priya to the same weapon. They both have these general purpose machine guns, Mechanator general purpose machine guns. Uh, he does not have any armor though so we're gonna have him sit this out um we're just like waiting on chips to come in in order to build like their their new set of gear we were able to buy cataphract tech prints from an exotic good trader uh so we're researching that now and then we've also continued to make some adjustments to our ship you can see we have most of this new hull built I'm not liking the way that the traditional ship hull and the mechanoid ship hull are meeting. Um, there's part of me that's like, oh, cool. We can obviously tell, like, you know, uh, that these are additions that Priya made. But then also, I just kind of want to deconstruct all of it and reconstruct it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with um, replace stuff. Uh, so we'd have to manually deconstruct it. So I might think about doing that offline. Um we are desperately in need of steel, so we are searching for that right now. Um, mechanoids, go ahead and come with us. And we'll grab these guys and we will start heading over to this mech cluster. I guess we'll head down this way. 
And, you know, especially with Priya's powers, I'm not too concerned about things. Let's get you guys in the closer position. Let's get Priya right here. And then Mechanoids will have you guys just kind of like line up there for now. Uh, Militors, you guys, as always, easy to resurrect. We're going to have you guys hang out up front. Um, let's have you guys head this way. Pikemen, we'll have you guys hang out like right here. Legionnaire, you there. Okay, Militors, let's wake it up. Oh, interesting. The Militors are not waking it up how I thought they would. Let's have you guys just, like, try and take the Tesseron out, like, first thing, maybe. Okay, will you guys take the Scyther out? Uh, will you guys work on this guy? Shield is down, so that's going to take a minute and a half to recharge. Priya does have her own shield. Uh, let's have you guys move up this way and start working on the centipede, maybe. Yeah, that centipede just like took those guys out. You guys are out of range. Let's have you move in on this centipede. And Priya, let's have you work on that centipede. Um. Okay. Okay, Pikeman, you guys can go. Legionnaire, you are free to do what you desire. We will take this out. These guys are not firing for some reason. It's very annoying. I guess you guys can go. We'll just, like, let Priya take it out. Okay. Mech Cluster defeated. Selena is almost on her way out of here. We will unforbid all the things. We'll deconstruct everything else. And... I think once Selena's out of here, we will figure out where to stick all these vanimetric power cells, probably like in our ship somewhere. Oh, we have a legionnaire that's ready. So Priya will always have two legionnaires escorting her from now on. Uh, everywhere she goes, they will go. Okay, finally saying goodbye to Selena. Uh, apparently she might have had some roof collapse on her uh, as we redo some more of the ship. So um, since we've moved a lot of our production out here, we are dedicating this to a salvage bay, a salvage bay, a shuttle bay, and then uh, more capacitors and more heating and cooling systems. So um, hopefully we'll be able to do some ship combat. I don't know, maybe tomorrow um and actually start sourcing our materials primarily through ship combat uh, let's get you out of here and wanderer we're gonna reject you how many vanimetric power cells is this 11 uh that's great that is um 450 power each that's 4,000. 4,000 power, <laughs> 4,600 power, or something something insane. Uh, almost 5,000 power, maybe? Uh, yeah, almost 5,000. Um, ship reactor puts out 10,000, so definitely not as efficient as that, but, um, you know, more, like, free power is free power, so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to let them run and just like wrap up some of this initial construction maybe start putting in some of the new heating and cooling systems and weapon systems and we'll be back tomorrow so thanks for hanging out as always until next time have a good one bye